Hi, friends. Happy Saturday. <clears throat> I am just hopping on here real fast because I was putting together grab bags this morning and wanted to show you how I do it. And I did kind of three different grab bags for different people. So just wanted to share. My screen is hecka dirty. Um, so if you're watching the replay, say replay, let me know. Um, and, oh goodness, this light is terrible. I think that'll be better. Hi, Christy. Hi, Sarah. Okay. That's better. Um, so I, like I said, I'm doing, um, grab bags for some of my customers. And so I just wanted to show you what those look like. Um, I know Christy in our dash to director program talked about some grab bags that she was doing and I know people had questions. And so I figured I'd bring it to this group and just let you guys know how I do grab bags and how I'm doing them. Um, right now, uh, grab bags for me are kind of like ever changing. Um, and I kind of switch it up, but I um, put together three this morning, so wanted to show you because they all look a little bit different. So, um, so what happened was I had, I was supposed to have a home party today and then a bunch of her guests bailed last minute. So I told her I would still drop off a grab bag to her um, and she could keep it for the week because she would still see a lot of those local people. And so um, because she's super local to me, I, decided to do instead of a bag bag I decided to do like a little basket so I just had this little tub thing and I kind of just filled it up with some stuff um the thing you should know about grab bags is that the intention of it is like a it's like a borrow bag right so you're going to fill it with maybe a couple full-size products that you have um catalogs some testers. I don't do all of my testers. Um, I have two sets of testers. I have one set that is a full set. Um, I switch out the transition set every season and that set stays with me. Um, that's the set that I take to home parties. That's the set that I keep at home. So if I need to reference it back or if I have people coming over to smell, um, that is the set that I have. And then I buy um, one or two extra transition sets and then extra um, testers that I have from previous seasons, I will sort out and I'll put that all together. And then that's the set that I pull from to do different grab bags with And So, um, I have multiples of a lot of different testers. And so it just makes it easy to be able to give out grab bags and things like that. Um, and so I don't do all of the scents. I just pick and choose, um, what scents I think are good, or maybe they're interested in some scents, um, and then go, go through it like that. Oh my goodness, my eyelashes are being crazy. I'm so sorry. Okay, so anyway, so you do some full size products um, and then catalogs, order forms, things like that. And so that's kind of the gist of these three, except that they all do look a little bit different. So um, again, this was for a home party that got canceled. So I gave her um, a few full size products to try and um, I gave her some showcase brochures two catalogs, um, and then some join information. I've talked to her about joining. I don't think she's going to, she's with another direct sale company, but that's okay. Um, and then one of the things that I did is here's the order forms, right? I give, um, a few order forms and usually what I'll do is I'll like highlight the top information for them. Um, and then make like a sticky note that says, please fill out all this information, my Venmo, blah, blah. But then I was already on my computer this morning. And so I just made a really quick little graphic, um, that says, please make sure when filling out your order form, you fill out the top completely with all your information. It helps me help you in the future. Um, and then the payments I accept, I did my Venmo so they can just scan it if they want to pay me with Venmo. Um, and then I told them how to do the tax and then if they have any questions. And so I'm just gonna paper clip this to all the order forms that I do for grab bags. I printed a bunch out, so now I have it ready to go. Um, and then I did, why I was on my computer is because I'm doing three different grab bags. Um, I wanted an easy way for people uh, to, like if people go and sit, if my host goes and sits down with people, maybe people at work or her family or her friends or whatever, I wanted an easy way for them to be able to order. Um, and so what I did is I made these 
this graphic, okay, it's got my picture, it's got um, wax and then the warmers, obviously. Um, and it says, order right from your phone. Thank you so much for supporting your friend with her scented bash. If you know exactly what you want, you can use your camera to scan the code below and order online. Um, and then I said, scan with your camera and make sure to choose your host when checking out. When you order online, you can expect happy mail from me as a thank you. And so this QR code um, go is uh, linked directly to their party. So their guest can scan this QR code. Um, and then I put four in there for each bag party so if somebody was like okay I know exactly what I want to order I don't have time to do it right now they can just take this with them okay um and so I put four of those in there I'm going to do this for bag parties it's a lot easier to me um or for me when people want to order online okay um and then obviously they have the order forms if they want to just do it like that and so for this one I did the mini Salerno warmer um two pins I did a bar that's already mostly gone of jeweled pomegranate um, to be able to use in the mini warmer. I know she has warmers and wax at her house, so I'm not concerned about it. Um, I did a little bit of Sunkiss Citrus Counter Clean. This was one that I was using. This is one that I like take to home parties and stuff like that just to show them what a counter clean is, but I am putting it in here. Um, a Now and Zen Body Cream. And on all of these, I've written tester or I have a sticker on it that says try me so that they know that they are free to use use it. There's a couple wax samples in here. Um, there's a fragrance mist and then this little gold bag has testers in it. Okay. I put eight testers in each of these grab bags. Um, and again, it's just kind of a random assortment of testers. It's not, there's no rhyme or reason for it. Now, if somebody says I'm interested in the pods and wall fans, um, then I might sort through all of the testers and give them only the testers that um, the pods come in. Uh, and so you can absolutely create grab bags with themes and do, you know, a pod and wall fan, mini fan, scentsy go bag and put only the scents that the pods come in. That's a great way to do it. If somebody was interested in just laundry or the cleaning stuff, then you can sort out your testers and only put the scents that the laundry or cleaning stuff comes in. And so you absolutely can make up these bags and then advertise them as themes or reach out to people who you know. Like if you have a customer who loves the pod system, um, I would be reaching out to those, asking them if they wanted to smell the new scents that the pods come in, be talking about the air purifier, make a special for it, that kind of thing. Get that grab bag out there and say, hey, if you collect this much in orders, you can get the air purifier half off. If they collect $500 in orders, they could get the air purifier half off. It uses the same system that they love, which is the pod and they already have the grab bag ready to go. You've already put it together. So be thinking about that. Grab bags are a fantastic way to have your business working for you in the background because even though I love home parties, I'm excited to get back into home parties. Um, grab bags are fantastic because I have stuff going on this week. I don't have time for a home party this week besides today. Um, I don't have time for it, but three of my customers are gonna be able to be utilizing um, grab bags and going on about their week during work or whatever and um, selling Scentsy, right? Okay, so that's my, this is for um, the girl who's supposed to have a home party today. She's gonna to be taking that one. And then I have a friend who, who um, I sent a catalog to and then she reached out to me this morning and said, hey, can we do an online party? So I asked her, are, are your people that you're wanting to do an online party, are they mostly local or are they mostly on uh, like out of state, out of, out of town, whatever. And she said, it's a little mix of both, mostly local. And I said, perfect. Can I put together a little grab bag for you? Um, I will start, I'm going to drop it off um, early next week. I will drop it off and then we can start your Facebook party. And she said, yeah, that's great. So she can take this to work. And so this is kind of a little one for her um, because we're gonna be doing an online one and I'm not sure how many in people, in person customers she's gonna come in contact with. So this is kind of just like a little grab bag. I got this bag at um, the dollar store, you guys. This bag is perfect for something super simple. Oh my gosh, my back is killing me, hold on. I need to like sit back on something. Um, I'll do it over here. Hold on, we're moving. Okay, um, I slept on my back wrong, sorry. Okay, so um, this bag is perfect for uh, little things. So if you're not really going to do like a full blown 
bunch of products inside um, a bunch of full size products, which by the way, you don't have to do. You don't have to do full size products at all. Um, I just like to take things that I've used for maybe samples or I have some bars that are half used that are current right now. So I'm going to add those into there for them to be able to try and to sample because smelling is believing. And if you're trying to get people interested in other products like Scentsy Fresh or Counter Clean or whatever, if you have a bottle of Counter Clean that's half gone or three quarters of the way gone, have somebody borrow it. Let them fall in love with it, okay? Um, but again, this is just a little bag. Um, I did the pod system with the mini fan because I don't think that she has that. And um, she works in an office, so I thought that was perfect for her. She can go use it um, with some pods. And then I did do some testers of an assortment, not just pod related, because she does love her wax and warmers. Um, and then I did a wax sample, a counter clean sample, another sample. And then same thing, I did the um, order forms. The order forms um, with that little note on it. I did do join information and I did two catalogs and a showcase brochure, okay? Um, and then the warmer of the month flyer, which is in all of these, okay? So that is my smaller grab bag. Again, same eight testers. I mean, different scents, but there's only eight testers in this little gold bag. So she's got that. She also has the thing with her link on it that she can share with people, okay? So that links right to her party. So all I did, you guys, is I made that graphic and then I um, just switched out the QR codes. And then I got one more grab bag. Hold on. Got one more grab bag. Now this grab bag I got off of Amazon. I'm probably gonna order more because I can't find my other one. I'm not sure where that one went. Um, but this one is for a um, one of my husband's uh, wives. She's become a pretty good customer of mine. And so she wants to have a home party, but we're not having the home party until October. And so um, I told her that I could put, she wanted a catalog and I said, well, let me put together a little grab bag for you. You can be sharing it. If people don't want to wait to order, they can order right now. It can be linked to your party still and you'll still get credit for it. And then we can have the in-home party in October. And she was totally cool with that. So I beefed up this one a little bit because she, while she's a good customer, she's a new customer for me. And so I don't know what she's familiar with. Um, and I want to get her excited about a few different things, right? And she's going to be talking to, running into, being around a lot of people from now until October. So I definitely wanted to give her um, an assortment of stuff that she can be sharing. So same thing. I gave her two catalogs, a couple showcase brochures, the order forms, the warmer of the month, obviously just for this month. Um, those same, her same little QR codes um, to be able to give to people should she want to um, and have them order. I did a wax sample, the wax cups that you get from the Whiff box. Um, I did a wall fan and the pods. Um, I did a room spray. I did a Scentsy Fresh, eight testers, and a mini warmer. I did the Paloma mini warmer, okay? Um, again, don't know how familiar she is with Scentsy, so I kind of just wanted to give her a little bit of um, a bunch of stuff. And um, like I said, she's got till October. And so this is, this is her bag, okay? This is the bag that I'm gonna be giving her um, when my husband takes it to his friend, to his coworker this week. So, um, and then a little buddy clip. I don't care that it's not current, that's okay. They can see the current ones inside the catalog. I actually don't have a current one right now. Um, I do have the elephant and Hamish, but they are currently in use. So those are the three types of grab bags that I um, put together this morning, you guys. Literally, when you prepare your business, like sorting testers already, when you've got your catalogs labeled, when you've got order forms, when you've got um, when you've got samples already made, putting together a grab bag is really not difficult. All you have to do is just sort it and put it together and have something to put it in. And you could put that, you could put a grab bag in one of these bags, you guys. It doesn't have to be something fancy. I like the fact that you can see through this. So should she take it to work or something, people are going to be interested about what's inside. Um, but it really just doesn't matter, okay? And I will give another pro tip. Like I said, this big one right here is in, is, um, preceding a home party. And so I always offer my, my hostess who are going to do an in, in home party, a grab bag first, because I want them to be able to, um, 
when they're going out and inviting people to their home party or whatever, they're going to come across people who are like, oh man, I'm busy that day, but I do want to order. Well, now she can be like, oh, okay. Like if you can't come that day, that's fine. You can still smell the, te the testers and you can look at the catalog and you know exactly what you want. And then she can order now or she can wait, doesn't matter. But then they have all of their stuff ready to go for those people who say, I can't be there. Um, or yeah, the people who can't be there. Okay. So you're not missing out on sales just because people can't show up. Right. And I don't like to do online parties anymore. Um, not really my jam. And so my hope is that there's, um, a lot of traction with the grab bags. And so then we can just skip the online party really. Um, and we can just send out links and do it that way. So those are the three types of grab bags, borrow bags that I am, um, that I put together this morning. Um, I usually have my borrow bags out for, I don't like it to be any more than two weeks. Um, a week is kind of my sweet spot, but should, you know, they message me and say, Hey, I, you know, want to keep it for an extra week because payday or so-and-so wants to smell it and I'm not going to see him till next week. That's fine, right? You take it as it goes. Um, but I let them know, hey, everything in there is yours to try and yours to use. Um, all I need back is whatever catalogs you don't use and the testers and order forms that you don't use. That's it. Everything else, if you want to keep it for the most part, that's fine. Um, obviously, some of this stuff is kind of more full than others. Oh, and the warmers and mini fans and stuff. If you're giving products like like full size, um, you know, obviously like wall fans and things like that. However, what I have done in the past, um, I had a customer who took a borrow bag and got like over $500 in orders. And I think there was a wall fan in it. And I told her, I said, as a hostess gift, as being so amazing, just keep the wall fan and the pods. I hope that you love them. Like you just keep that as a thank you for having such a great party. So again, that's that's up to you, but that can absolutely be like a hostess incentive. So if you were going to put together a bag that was specifically driven for something like the the pod system and you're putting in a wall fan or a mini fan or something, you could tell them, hey, if you collect $500 in orders, you can keep the wall fan that's in there or the mini fan or the tub of washer whiffs or, you know, that mini warmer that's in there. You can keep that if you do $500 in orders or whatever. So all that, again, is up to you. Um, you get to decide, but borrow bags are so, so beneficial, you guys. And like I said, it's, it's your business working behind the scenes because it's not me having having to spend a couple hours at a home party, which is well spent, but now my Saturday has been freed up. That's fine, but I still get to work my business and I'm doing it in three different ways for three different hostesses and hopefully it'll be really good. And um, I know Christy had mentioned in her video on the Dash to Director page that um, with bag parties, it does take a little bit more hostess coaching, right? Because you're not front and center. You're not being able to explain everything. And so you have to make sure that your host knows exactly what she's talking about and how to share it. Okay. So that is on you. Um, but grab bags are an incredible way for your business to be working. So I hope you guys take advantage of that this season. Um, do shoot for home parties. Home parties are amazing. Um, and they are a really great experience and you are giving people a, uh, front row seat to your personality and to who you are as a Sensi consultant, plus all the products and the scents. Um, but if that is not something that you are capable of doing, this is amazing way to do it. And you can also do grab bags and mail them, right? So if I were to do a grab bag and mail them, it would be this size. I would put this like in a poly mailer or a flat rate uh, mailer. And I probably wouldn't do like a mini fan and pods, but I would load this up with samples and I would do testers, but I would only do the testers that I have extras of, right? So then I'd be okay if I didn't get them back. Um, and I, I kind of just play it by year, depending on who it is. I might say, just keep the testers and give them like six of them. Um, and then some catalogs and stuff, and then just tell them to order online through the party um, instead of doing the order forms, right? So you can absolutely mail borrow bags um, and then just depending on what's inside or what arrangement you come up with your host, you can choose to just let them keep it or you um, ask for it back and pay the shipping or whatever. So um, borrow bags do not have to be just for local people, but they are great for local people. So um, there are plenty of other videos and posts about grab bags, borrow bags here on the page. And so if you have any other questions, 
absolutely feel free to drop them in the comments, but do spend some time searching um, this page for it. You can search at the top and just type in grab bag or borrow bag. And me and Alex have been talking about this for a very long time and other people have come up with some really amazing creative ways to do it as well. So I encourage you to go do that. And YouTube is a great resource too. There's a lot of other leaders who do some amazing grab bags. Um, but just keep in mind as you're going through everything that simplicity is still a core value. Simplicity is still what matters. Um, and so don't feel like you have to go all out. Don't feel like you have to do anything super crazy. Um, like I said, if you have catalogs, testers, order forms, and pins, and some samples, you are good to go, okay? That is plenty. Um, you don't need all the extra stuff, okay? So happy Saturday, you guys. I hope you guys have an awesome weekend, and I'll see you on Monday. Bye.